Yeah, yeah, you know what it is. It's your girl DJ Dami Cussing. We are in the mix, brought to you by Vizzy. I got my boy Zach Pasco with me. Zach, what is going on? How you doing today? What's up? What's up, man? Appreciate you having me. <laughs> oh, man, thank you for sitting down with me, taking out the time. I know you are super busy, so it's always good to get you down here and talk with you now. Yeah, uh, you're kind of new to the Philadelphia area. You were born or you were raised in Maryland, right? Are you from Maryland? Yeah, I'm from Maryland. I was I was raised well, in Maryland. I was born in New York. Yeah. Oh, you was born in New York. Okay. New, what part? New York City or? I was born in uh, Crown Heights. I think that's Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Wow, didn't know that. You know something new every day. What made you what made you guys move to Maryland? So my parents are Caribbean. Um and so they came from Grenada and then um flew to I guess when, when you come from out of the country, you know, everybody my everybody go to New York. And so my yeah. parents my parents met in New York, um, had me and then we moved to Maryland when I was like three. So Oh wow. Ever since then, you know, I was in Maryland. Now you said your parents are Caribbean. I know the upbringing in your house. I got I got some family um, that's from the Caribbean as well, and they they're different. You know what I mean. So, what was your upbringing like? What were some of the traditions that you grew up on coming up as a kid? Um, I mean, so we had a strict household. You know the you know the Caribbean Caribbean lifestyle, but we did have good food. You know we like we ate good growing up. Um, just little things as far as Caribbean, I would say like. I don't know. Anytime it's uh, a holiday, we got to go over, over to a family house for a cookout. But regardless of what it is, though, regardless of what it is, we have a cookout at somebody, somebody house. If people travel and it's 10 of them, they all, all 10 of them are staying in the house wherever we're going to make space. You gonna Right. <laughs> no, that, I mean, that's that's kind of like that sounds close to, you know, what I go through. My, you know, my parents are Caribbean, but we're the same. We go to everybody's house. Everybody crowds around in the house and it's like a good family vibe what's like one of your favorite like caribbean dishes uh i would have to stay curry chicken with the white rice and then give me some cabbage too i I need a little sauce on the white rice give me a little sauce with some cabbage and then a curry chicken i'm cool what were like some things you you did growing up for fun for fun growing up i was always outside i was i wasn't i was never in the house i was always outside so we we did anything that would that would label us having fun as far as like you know playing football uh going to the park you know going to meet up with other friends doing other things whatever we consider fun just getting out the house yeah no that's crazy like when did you feel like football was like your passion it was something that you wanted to do for the rest of your life probably by the time I got to middle school and I I actually realized like I was actually like pretty good I was like I could make some money with this. I started watching football with my mom. She was a Giants fan, so I started, you know, watching like Tiki Barber and all the and Plaxico Burris and all those guys and it made me fall in love for the game. So I started passionate from there. You gotta talk to us about the dog mentality. What is that all about? What is the dog mentality? So the dog mentality, um it's one of my friends, uh one of my friends group, he introduced it to me one one summer I was training home for the for the NFL and he came up to me and he gave me some socks that had the dog mentality on it and he explained it to me and basically it's um a mentality where you know whatever you're going through no matter if it's good or bad and I could give you two scenarios and how how that applies but it could be good or bad you got to be able to you know in foot in you got to be able to make it make it out or Make it through adversity, handle adversity, and for me, it's like that just defines a person. You know, if some some good goes on, how do you handle that? You know, if some adversity comes, how do you handle that? You could make a hundred catches in one season, and if you lose that dog mentality, you ain't gonna get a hundred the next season. You could have two mm-hmm. catches one season and feel like, oh, well, I'm not that good. No, you gotta have that dog mentality. Like, nah, next year I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have that. So it's just like continuing to. Be great, continuing to make the right decisions and not letting adversity or something so good take that away from from you. Another thing that I love that you do is passes with Pasco. So talk to me about that. What is it? Explain to the people out there that don't know, you know, what that actually is. Passes with Pasco is a pregame ritual I do where I go out before the game 
um, and just throw passes into the stands. I could throw them short to the kids. I could throw them, you know, as far as as high as you know, every, wherever they want. Um, and I, I like to do that because, you know, it 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 gives somebody, whether it's one person or whether it's twenty people, it gives somebody the opportunity to say like, okay, well, I went to a coach game and I was able to play catch with a player, you know, and people. People, big and small, take that, and that that could possibly change their life. You know, for me, when I was younger and I went to a Redskins game, I went to a Redskins game, they was playing the Giants. And they didn't throw me a pass, but I, just being out on the field, seeing Victor Cruz, seeing all these other guys, like, it, 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 it changed me so much just being there and actually having to, like, see it in person. So if I – I told myself this that when I came into the league, I was gonna have a little something, you know. That's 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 me. That's different. Yeah. And so being able to go out pregame, rain, sleet, snow, play catch with a fans, like I live for those moments. Like that's probably my favorite time of the favorite time of the day. Um, and just being able to put a smile on my face, man, I, I love it. It's cool. I love that that ritual. Uh, what was like one of your you know best memories since starting it? Uh, one of my best memories is we was in. We was playing in Buffalo. I think it was a playoff game two years ago. And, you know, I'm I'm throwing the ball, throwing the ball. They, you know, they catch it and they throw it back. But this one ball, it was a little kid, you know, up in the back. And I don't think his parents was going to let him come all the way down. So mm -hmm. I, I, I seen him and I decided to launch the ball up there. And, you know, I made everybody, like, just watch. Just nobody interfered with this pass. Right. And, I, and I threw it up there, and he caught it, and he was dancing, and everybody was cheering, and he threw it back. Oh. It was just a lip moment, and he came down, dab me up, and his parents let him come down, give me a high five and all that. It was oh. cool. Man. That's what it is, man. Zach Pascal, I appreciate you right now. You guys are in the mix. Brought to you by Vizzy, Diamond Cuts, Zach Pascal. we gone.